Hi there, this is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US, and in this video, I've got a super quick organizational tip for you. I don't know if you have difficulty storing your adhesive back embellishments, but one of the things that has always bothered me is that each of the packages are different sizes. So for storage purposes, I keep looking for something that's gonna be a uniform size, and I think I've finally found it, and I can't wait to share it with you. So these are all of the adhesive backed embellishments from the mini catalog. I found that all the adhesive backed embellishments that we have in both the annual and mini catalogs could fit on a four by six inch backing. So these little pockets, believe it or not, are vinyl envelopes sized to fit a passport, but you can get 10 in a pack from Amazon around five or $6 or so. So we're gonna go ahead and create the pocket for a pack of Gilded Gems and I'll show you exactly how I did this. So I've got my stamp and trimmer out and I'm bringing in a 12 by 12 backing from designer series paper. This happens to be from Trimming the Town, but we all have these backings laying around, especially if you love DSP as much as I do. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this first to six inches and then we're gonna cut this down to four inch pieces. So then what you end up with is six four by six inch pieces. Great for six different packs of embellishments. So I'm gonna open up my pack of Gilded Gems here. And these happen to be not adhered to the backing. Now some of our embellishments are, and the best tip I have for you is to flip it over. And what you want to bend is the cardboard instead of the embellishments. And that will sort of reduce the opportunity for some of the embellishments to pop off. This is an easy one because it's not stuck to the backing. And then I'm just gonna take my Stamp and Seal Plus and I'm just gonna run a few strips right along the back, sort of one in the middle and one on either end, probably overkill on the adhesive, but I didn't want these going anywhere. All right, now that we've got that adhesive then, we can come and center it on the four by six piece. And then we can come in and slide that into this four by six vinyl pocket. There we go. Love that. Now I just have this container that I found on Amazon. It's by M Design. It's got four different sections. So I'm gonna add this one to my annual catalog section. I've got my mini catalog section here at the front. Now I can label these if I want to, but I find that just seeing them is fine. And then I've got a section for pearls and a section for all the different rhinestones we have. If you happen to have embellishments that you have multiples of, you can double these up as well. So this is just two different four by six pieces in the same pocket. And I just love the way that these are all the same size now. I can see them all. And I think I'm gonna use my adhesive backed embellishments even more. So I hope you enjoyed this quick organizational tip. I will link to both the pockets as well as this container in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. And if you don't wanna miss a thing, you can subscribe to receive blog updates via email and you'll receive an email each time I publish a new post. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle and it's a great way to fill your wish list for less. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com slash join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can order catalogs through me at thepaperpixie.com slash catalogs. And if you give this organizational system a try, I'd love to see a picture of your setup. So feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.